So in the lending world, I'll just summarize it real quick. I, I classify loans into two categories. One, conventional lending. Two, portfolioed lending. Okay, so conventional lending to me, and if you go to your bank, hey, which loan type? That, this is just Andrew's definition, all right? So conventional is Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. This is the government stuff. This is long-term loans that are based on my income, but I cash flow best on this side. I'm also more flexible on my loan to value. I can go up to 85% of my loan to value Mm -hmm. of the the actual property value, 85% on my Fannie Freddie side. But if I don't have a regular job, I may not even be able to get this money. And plus, I can't buy with Fannie Freddie. They require a down payment. Portfolio loans, it's everything else because it comes from the lender's own portfolio of money, their money. I got to go to Fannie and Freddie for their money. It's their money. It's their rules. But portfolio, now it's my money. I can do whatever I want. I can be as flexible as I want or as restrictive too. I can be even more restrictive. So in the portfolio world, this is where hard money comes into play and DSCR loans and commercial loans and bank statements loans and you know whatever they want to call them. There's tons of them out there. This is money that comes from banks. And this is usually from a smaller local lender. In the beginning, I want to emphasize to try to focus on smaller local community banks for lenders because they're the most flexible. Until you find a good place, this is where we want to target. It's not foolproof, but that's where we want to go. I hope that makes sense how I'm describing it. No, that makes sense.